Hello, welcome back to the channel. There's big news today and that is that the second greenhouse is almost finished. Before I bring the staging across, I'll let you have a bit of a recap of all of the stages that has brought me to this point of this greenhouse finally being ready for action. Greenhouse now has a twin in a busy week or so of building, but now this one needs glazing. And remember that rubber strip I didn't like on my sister's greenhouse? I think this one's about to get worse. This doesn't have a rubber strip that pushes onto an edge. This has to have sticky rubber back foam tape glazing strip. So this is the old glazing channel and it just has a very thin rubber strip that sticks in that little ledge. He did say I needed to buy 64 meters of it. I had to let that sink in a bit myself too. It's a shame I don't drink. So the idea is we've already cleaned all of these sides off that you just stick it on. All the way around and try not to get in your way so that you can see it. Maybe it will be easier. I think what I need to do is just put it on in this section and then just before I go any further just make sure that the glass actually fits before I do the rest of it because we could not find the information of what size glazing strip we actually did need and this was the smallest in width that we could buy that was wasn't too thin in depth as well because some of it was only a millimeter in depth and to be honest that seemed like it wouldn't cushion the glass enough because the lip was bigger than a millimeter or the recess it sits in The glazing clips in as well. Satisfied that the glazing strip does sufficiently cushion the glass, I'm now going ahead and completing putting in all of the strip now. What a joyous task that was. Why am I by the car when I'm putting glass in a greenhouse? Well, there's a story to be told. We've just taken the trip to Stafford and we're meeting Adam here on his allotment. Adam reached out to me on YouTube to have some glass for the spare greenhouse that we've just put up. So we've come to pick it up and we're now having a tour of his wonderful allotment. Now my sister is behind the camera, so she's still invisible, but we've never been on an allotment site before. So this is actually quite exciting for us. Once the garlic's out, we can put tomatoes down this side and chilies, chilies down there. These all fold down. See, there's little hinges at the back. Oh, that's a brilliant so idea. So when, when they're done, I just take the screws out, fold them down, and then I, I can grow up. Adam also has a YouTube channel. If you want to check him out, he is at The Weekend Gardener. I'll put it on the screen now. So go and give him a look. It's a great channel. Thank you very much, Adam. Okay. It's all very nicely wrapped up. It's been kept very safe in his garage. I've unloaded the glass. There's some against muck spread attire. And the rest is propped up here by the truck. I didn't take a tape measure with me yesterday, so I'm not sure how much of this glass we're going to be able to use. Probably not that much, to be honest, but I didn't have many broken panes anyway. But I know that Adam had said it came from a hall's 8x6 popular which is the same as my sister's now there's only a couple of different sizes of glass for my sisters which is the two foot by two foot and then the slightly smaller panes for the top of the roof there is a whole heap of these really tall sections of glass that are for it says on them for the middle sections of the sides of the greenhouse well we don't use those i may have a lot of spare glass that i don't know what to do with 
So it might be going in my garage now for the next 18 months, Adam. But thank you anyway. Oh dear. Either the ones I hoped were the right size aren't the right size. So I really should have gone to crew and bought my own glass yesterday. Looks like we're using the original glass after all. Yeah. Well, I do. If you want me to put the clips in, wait, let me show you. That way. Put the top edge in. Just let me show you. So, trying to take it off me. Put that bit behind the glass. That bit sits on the glass. Put yeah. that bit behind the glass and push that. I can't do it because you can't see what I'm doing. Holders, whatever you call them. Should have tried to clean it off a bit because I'm never going to put it on the outside and then I've got a chance of cleaning it. Doesn't matter how many times you put them in, you're still going to be looking at them to think, how do I put them in? Disaster, it's supposed to be dry all day. You could do some gloves on. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, with that. Oh, God. Is it sitting on it? Why did you give me those two ones? So it's time to put the window on, which slides along the ridge. There you go. Just watch you don't plonk yourself on the head with the window stay there you go the window is on Duncan standing there while I go get some more glass and just like that I now have two greenhouses on the garden the ground is quite wet because we've had a lot of rain recently so that's why the slabs are just dumped there at the moment now the glass is in the doors are shut hopefully the ground will dry up over the next few days and then we'll get that path laid and then I'll sort out how the interior of this greenhouse is going to be and I'll take you along for that journey too because stay with me it is very very exciting and it includes a discount code for you as well it didn't dry up we had rain after rain and the ground flooded and seeped inside the greenhouse so here I am just digging a hole where I can start to make a soak away to fill up with this big thick gravel which will enable me to finish the inside of this greenhouse and get this staging in because I am running out of space in the house. I really need to get some of my seedlings in the house, outside and in this greenhouse. It needs to be finished. A finished soak away. I then put in a layer of membrane and more of the chunky gravel before finishing off with this decorative pea gravel, which was surprisingly a lot heavier than it looked. I then turned my attention to making the start of a drainage system outside of the greenhouse to help prevent the water from pooling inside there in the first place back in the house now it's really time to get this greenhouse finished and get it usable. Copa Grey reached out to me with a discount on Instagram because they were so pleased with the review that I gave them online so I've now got some more staging for the second greenhouse which we're going to put together now and I'll show you how easy and how great this staging is. Keep watching till the end of the video there will be a discount code that I'll put up on the screen if you'd like to buy some as well. First thing to notice is just how well packaged everything is in the box. It's all protected so there's no danger of scratching any of the powder coating off of these pieces of metal. 
one of the benefits of doing this in the house is being able to find a microwave dish to separate these bits into. First job is to make the top of each one of these up and they're made out of four sections, the front and back and the end pieces sit underneath the side pieces and they're bolted through there. When we made the first set, we actually put them together wrong. We put all the fancy domed nut heads to the outside on show and you're supposed to do it the other way around. I don't think it particularly matters, but because we did it wrong with the first ones, so that they all match, we're going to do it wrong with these ones as well. So that's the main top frame put together. Duncan's just going to tighten it up now. It does come with a spanner, which I'll just hold on the back for you. that's the frame done you must make sure when you're making the top piece that you get the copper grey logo on the top at the front I didn't do that with the first set that we put together I didn't see the sticker that said to make sure this was on the top section so I had to undo it and start again but we're lesson learned this time now we need to make the leg assemblies these are the legs. They've got holes closer together at the top, further apart at the bottom. The three closer together holes are, as I've just said, at the top. And then we have to fix the cross members and a supporting piece to them. So the cross members are fitted on the fourth and the 14th hole down. We'll get that done now. We just need to fit the legs to the top. Recommended way of doing this is to have this on an angle and offer this up to it, which is especially handy if you're doing it on your own. And that's your basic frame built. So now all I need to do is just go ahead and put these extra bits in to make the additional shelving. These just bolt into the frame again. It's not quite as technical as doing the top one because you don't need to put the sides in, it just front and back. So I'll go ahead and get those put in. These are the slats that go with this system with Cope Grey and what I really like about it is that these don't need to be drilled down. These snap into place into these preformed um, ridges on the frame. It's as simple as that. And what makes this really handy is that in the summer, if you want to grow taller crops through these, then you can just unclip them, have pots on the ground that can grow up through the frame. So that's the first half done. It is six foot staging that we've bought and it comes in two, three foot sections, which makes it really handy to manoeuvre in and out of the greenhouse. So I've just got to do all of that again. And again, another close up showing just how easy it is to snap these slats into the frame. 
who knew that I'd buy staging that would match the sofa? Maybe that's why I liked the colour of it so much. Let's see if I can get this one through the door. Oh. Well, there's the... Ow! There's a problem. This greenhouse isn't as wide as the other one. And it's not going to fit. Oh, hell. Well, now I really don't know what to do. Oh, no. It doesn't fit. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, mother. What I've noticed is it's this stay that's the problem. I'll show you on this side. This is obviously quite deep, so it's stopping the staging from going up against the side of the greenhouse. Now in the hall's greenhouses, this stay doesn't come corner to corner. It comes halfway between this panel and then ends halfway between this next panel, which means actually that the staging is sat behind there. So what we're going to try to do is remove this stay and move it along a panel and hope that that will solve the problem. With a little jiggery pokery and a lot of swearing that I couldn't film, we have actually managed to get it to fit. It's not finished yet, there's a few little bits we're going to do to it, but do you remember those bolts that I told you about at the beginning that we put the nuts and bolts the wrong way around? Well, <laughs> having to face them the correct way with the nut head on the outside obviously has given us a little bit more room, but we have also had to remove as I said, these struts here and put them on the next panel along because the depth of this metal here is what was stopping the staging going right to the edges. The fixing kit comes with a longer bolt to fit the two pieces of the bench together and a wing nut, as you can see Duncan has there, to fasten onto the other side. Yay, we got there in the end. I now have two working greenhouses. Already put my potato pots in here. I'm just gonna put a few of the annuals on the shelf at the back because they needed a little bit more room. So I'll go and fetch them. While I was ordering my second lot of staging from Cope Grey, I decided to also upgrade this potting area. Now, it's the only thing that I'm finding a little bit annoying about having slats is that when you're potting things up or writing labels and things I don't have a solid area if I've got soil in the potting tray. So what I've ordered to combat that is a stainless steel potting bench top that takes these slats out to replace it. Whoops, that's a bit noisy isn't it? There's one. Oh. Oh, like that. Now, just slots in this space. Right. So that's that on there. So there you go, that's how this is going to work for me. Just going to slide it along so that when I'm writing labels and things and you get soily hands, I'm not dropping soil through the slats or labels to lose. I think that's going to work well. Then I'll just slide back over there, out of the way, and not ruin the look of the slats everywhere. So there you have it. Project Second Greenhouse is now complete. And I did say at the start of this video that I would have a discount code for Copa Grey if any of you were interested. I will put it on the bottom of the screen now, but the discount code for 10% off website-wide, apart from the Sneerboard tools, is TVPT10. That code is actually able to be used in conjunction with any other sale that they have on at the time. So go ahead and have a look on their website and see if you can grab yourself a few bargains. There's no incentive for me if you do make a purchase. I declined any offer of commission or kickbacks on any sales. I'm quite happy just to pass on any savings to you, the customer. I absolutely 100% rate the product. I paid full price for the first set and I did get a bit of a discount for the second set of staging in this one on the basis of being allowed to use some of the photos that I'd already taken on their website. Plans for this greenhouse over summer will be chilies and peppers and potentially some spare tomatoes in here as well. I'll have to see how I get on for space. 
couldn't be more excited now for the season to get going. This has felt like the final piece in the puzzle and for a long time I was regretting having moved it across the lawn because we had so many issues with the floods and we just weren't sure how we were going to make it work but it's sorted and I'm really really happy with it. Next week's video is going to be about potatoes. I'll catch you then. Look after yourselves. Bye.